Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a simple notepad app in Unity and welcome to episode 7. This tutorial we're going to focus on our little exit button right here and we're going to have a little pop-up that says do you want to save, do you want to cancel or quit. Uh, so you'll basically be working with that. It's going to be not tough but it'd be interesting to see how it's done. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with every tutorial in this series and indeed everything else on my channel. And with that in mind, let's get to work. So the way we're going to do this is all going to be inside. If we go to game object UI, it's going to be all inside something called a panel right there. And a panel is a way of containing, you know, little bits of uh, information inside one game object. You can see here that if we change the size of the panel, it kind of dims the area that it surrounds. So we're going to have a panel probably about that big, and we're going to have it in the center. And if we move it with our rec tool, we should be able to align it fairly well. About there. I'll get it eventually. <laughs> there we go. And this is only going to appear when we click this X button up here. So within this, we now need to create more buttons. And the great thing is what we can do is we can select these buttons that we have down here. For example, the save button, duplicate them inside here. But what I want to do with this canvas first is change the coloring. So I'm going to have it darker. So I'm going to have it kind of, a, it looks gray. Although it's black, it looks gray, but that's because of the alpha. The alpha is currently set to 100. Zero alpha means it's see-through. Uh, complete alpha means it's opaque and obviously anywhere in between is translucent. By default, it's set to 100. I'm going to leave it as 100. So within the panel, right click UI and go to text. And let's have this text uh, center, top, right there. Change the position and get it into place by clicking the alignment right there. Bring it down ever so slightly. And let's change the text to say, are you sure you want to? quit and let's expand this so we can see a little better and just realign it back in the center and let's have it as white so in here this is where we're going to add in the other buttons so let's duplicate the first one which is currently save so hold control press d and then drag that inside the panel and then move that button to there so what do we want to do well, we can actually leave that save as it is because that will still save. So we're going to give ourselves a couple of different options. So we're going to have save and underneath we're going to have quit. And then underneath that, we're going to have cancel. So we can duplicate the save button or control press D once again, bring it down to about there. And then once again, and bring it to about there. So obviously we need to change the coloring just to give it a bit more context rather than all three green buttons. You don't have to, it's just something I want to do. So let's have this as maybe a kind of no, red, uh, maybe kind of a purpley color. Okay, we'll go with that. And I'm going to change the text on this one to say, in fact, we'll have it as cancel. So this button will be the one that takes us back to our actual uh, notepad. But what we also want to do is kind of prevent ourselves from doing anything else in the notepad. But we'll deal with that in just a moment. Uh, so this button is going to be maybe a red color. That'll look. And we'll have this one just simply say quit. And next. Oh, we'll keep save as save, won't we? Because, you know, we keep it aligned with how this one looks. So just keep note of how it looks over here. Make sure this is how you want it to look on your app. So let's rename the buttons. So we'll have save button. And I'll read this as save button dupe. Short for duplicate. This one is going to be quit button. And this one is going to be cancel button. Okay, so next thing we need to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is to, on the panel, right click, UI, and attach another panel. And this panel is going to be taken away outside, and then it's going to be stretched. So make sure it is stretched, and then zero, 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 and then turn the color to 
zero alpha. Now you don't have to, I guess you could do that. Or maybe do that. I, I guess it's up to you. It, honestly, it's your app. You could have it completely like that. You could have it completely off. I'm gonna have it completely off. What this will do is prevent us from actually pressing any other UI elements on the screen apart from whatever is in our panel. So I'm going to take this panel and place it inside the panel again, but at the top. So the reason we have it at the top is because we still want to interact with these buttons. So these all come on top of whatever is here. So it's the ordering in the hierarchy. So next thing we need to do is let's sort these buttons out and make sure they all work. We know the save button works, it's a duplicate of this button. So let's get the quit and cancel working as well. Let's go to our scripts folder. And I think it's button control, is that the one we have? Um, should we do it in button control? Let's do it in, let's do it in button control for now. So this one is gonna contain a couple of different things, I think. So the first one is going to be cancel that we'll have. So let's have public void cancel button, open close bracket, open curly bracket. And in here, all we need to do is basically turn off this panel. So obviously we need to declare it as a variable. So public game object, and we'll have this as just the panel, I guess. And this will say the panel dot set active false semicolon. Uh, we'll also do this close button up here as well. So we'll have that as public void close button, open close bracket, open curly bracket. And what this one will do is actually set the panel as active. So we can take that line and change it from false to true. So we've got that one working, that one works. Uh, cancel works, so we just need quit. And that one's really easy. We can just have public void quit button, open close bracket, open curly bracket, and it's application dot quit, open close bracket, semicolon, and save that script. So next thing we need to do is apply that script to, or rather apply uh, the variables to that script that we've just created, which is going to be this panel. And it is on app controls. And we just need to drag and drop the panel over there. And then let's go to our quit button. App controls is fine. So we need to go onto there, go onto button control and it's quit button right there. And let's go to the cancel button. And we've already got that there. The old game object app controls, yep. So here, down to button control, and it is a cancel button. There we are. So what that means now is that if we turn uh, this panel off up here, so we click the panel, turn off up here, select our close button up here, and then we need to click plus, drag over app controls, click no function, click button control, and then click on close button. Make sure you click close button, not quit button. And let's save our project. So if we press play now, we should be able to do whatever we need to do in our notepad. And then if we click close, we'll be presented with this, but we also can't actually do anything. Remember this panel prevents us from doing anything else, but we can save, quit or cancel. So saving, Obviously, we'll still save it. Quit would quit as, quit as out the application. Now, it won't work here because it, you can't quit it out of the actual engine itself. But believe me, when you come to build it, that quit button will work. And cancel just takes you back to your app. You can carry on going. So, clear. There we go. Yeah, let's save it and let's quit. So that was how you would get out of it. So all of those buttons work now. The button functionality is pretty much complete in the app. And I think for you guys, you should now take time to refine how this app looks rather than take what I've done, because I've done this simply to show you the mechanics of how it works and how you perform it, how you get everything working. But if you perhaps source images that say save or clear or whatever, make your buttons look a little nicer. I think it's up to you how you want it to look. So next tutorial, what we're going to do? 
Well, I think we're going to have a little splash screen. That splash screen is just going to set like, like a white screen that says Jimmy's notepad and then just brings you to the notepad. Uh, so we'll be dealing a little bit with scene changes in that. And we'll also actually do the final bits to the app and show you how to build it. So the next tutorial will be the last one for this short mini series. Uh, to be honest, I've enjoyed making this uh, little series. It's been quite fun. So yeah, guys, you just need to refine how your app looks now. Get it all set, ready to go, because we're nearly at the end. Guys, thank you very much for watching.